Okay, so welcome back again. And uh, in this session, uh, we will try to learn like how to write the other methods. Okay, in the previous session, we have already published our package. Okay, so we will again write an enhancement there that okay, I will add one more module there. And we will see that uh, how to write that. Okay, and it will be a shorter video not will it will not take time. So we have done a lot of um, like uh, heavy lifting in the previous few videos. And uh, now you will find it slightly easy, right? So let's get started. Okay, everyone, let's get started. So here we are in the uh, like now we have just created our first Python package. Okay, so that is version 0.0.2. .0 and now we are ready to add some more functionality right about the rendering a site. Okay, so normally like what happened that uh, like sometimes you may want to like if you're sharing a notes with someone. Okay, so this will be helpful that okay, if you can render the website then and there in, in, in not like no need to open it into any other browser, right? So what you can do is like click on this. Uh, so we can uh, like have a uh, this rendering site functionality as well in the Jupyter notebook so let's click on this okay let's see what we have to do so we have to render a site file and then we have to create the respective module and then manually test it in the Jupyter notebook for various scenarios we can test it okay so let's start with the this so let's go back to our Jupyter notebook okay so here we are so let me close this open it and also drop this out so uh, let's open it uh, with the like your src package here so in this one i will just create one more um like package which is about um, render site or let's call it as a site dot py okay and uh, like in this one we will we will define our function that is render uh, like define render dot render site okay so first of all let's uh, like import few things so i will import um let's say from uh, I Python or I PyNB renderer. All right, sorry, I Python actually here. I Python. We will import display, which we are going to use it, and then we will need like from ensure again, ensure import annot ensure annotations, which we are going to use again, and then we will import a URL library, URL lib, URL lib uh, dot request. Okay. And then we will also import from ipy and be renderer dot custom exception import invalid URL exception as well as from the same uh, like ipy and be ipy and be renderer dot logger import logger okay which we are going to use it so before like here so now what I will do is first of all let's write a function called as render render okay render a website render site and this will take a url as an input okay and here we will have a width of it okay width and height so here we will specify width in percentage okay that will be better okay so i will give it as 100 percent so it will occupy the 100 percent of the jupyter notebook and then again we will have a so it has to be of type string okay so it's equals to type string default value similarly we will have a string value for this about let's say i want to have a um, like of uh, 600 size okay 600 is a length uh, like um, length of it or a height of it and then it will uh, simply return me a string that is if it is a successfully uh, ran so i will return me a success and uh, again let's use add the rate ensure annotations as a to ensure that okay this is intact input and output and uh, now what i will do is i will write here that try again try and accept block so i will say that okay try um, like we will also check the validity of the site right if the site is valid then only we can verify right valid uh, then we will say that okay it's working fine right so if it is valid it should return me true and false if it is valid and then I will just check the response of the site. Okay, so we will just get the response by when we will say display dot uh, iframe. Okay, and in this one I will mention that okay, what is my source URL width and height and etc. So I will just say source is equals to URL and width and height I have to write. And uh, then I will just write the dis. I will just say display dot display again. <laughs> And that's how it is there in the arrangement and i will just whatever response i've got from here i will just display it and if it everything is fine so i will simply return success right so i will simply return success here and uh, 
else we will simply raise an invalid URL exception. That means the site is not working fine or maybe you can type a message as well. And then I will simply write here accept, okay, accept exception as E and we can raise the exception. Okay, so this will raise. Since we haven't implemented this is valid, so I will implement it on the top, okay. So let's define is valid method here and it will take url as an and which is again it's of type string and it should return me a boolean type that is if it is true or false so here i will say one more thing that okay again we will try here so you will get the response status of the site okay first of all if it is working so it will simply say yeah so what is the like um, status so request dot we will open this url okay url open and we will pass the url that i've got and I will just get the code for it. So get code. And uh, I will say assertion here that if the response status is equals to 200, then we will proceed further, right? And, and uh, if it is fine, so it should return me like logger dot debug, I should say that uh, um, like response status. So here you can see I'm not writing information as a info. I'm just saying that okay, it's just a debug information. So this is about again response status was true, and if it is done, so we will simply return the true statement that okay yes it's it's exist. Then if it is false, that means if it is there is an exception. Okay, if there is an accept exception as e. Okay. So we will simply uh, write the logger exception, logger dot exception. We can simply uh, rows, simply write this as an in the log file, and then we will return the um, like return the false statements. Returns false. Okay. So again, we can make it ensure with the uh, annotations, ensure annotations. So this is it. I can reformat this code with the black. So format with black. So it should be able to like, okay, so it is working fine now. It's, it's done. Um, so uh, now let's, I think uh, that is one thing. And uh, now we can test it with the, uh, for a various scenarios. Okay, let's go back again. So we have written this. Now what we can do next is like creating a render site file is done. Create the respective model that is also done. This is it. And we can simply write manually test it in the Jupyter notebook for a various scenarios. So we can, let's do this. Okay, let's go back again. So the research, I will say, um, again, when going to manual test, we will just look into the scroll to the bottom and we will start working on this part. So let's import now. So from uh, ipynb renderer uh, import now you will see that if this import will not work reason is that okay we haven't imported into our um, like in the init uh, this constructor here we did not import that right so i will see again now from ipynb site okay import uh, render site okay one more thing that you should mention that okay if i go back again to the render site should be should be in small right so i should be able here yeah. so this is fine render site and also i will call for is valid as well because we will going to verify that here okay so uh, we will import uh, like uh, ipi render import the uh, render site okay and uh, we will also import from stm this ivn renderer and we will also go for the custom exception import invalid in valid url exception okay so let's import this okay it says that uh, cannot import render site from it uh, i think we should again restart this because we have updated it later once after restarting so it should be able to now run yeah so it's working fine now so uh, now what we can do is we can define certain urls so let's go for uh, like pytorch okay http uh, pytorch.org so we can now render site render site and we can pass this url so it should be able to render very well if there is no error okay and this says there is a render site issues there so it says that attribute error uh, attribute has no dist attribute data of like iframe so that means i made a certain mistake here so it says that it is not having uh, iframe as a method any method mm, let's verify this Okay, so there is an issue here that it should be capital. That is why you can see it was now it shows green now. So we will again do one thing. We will restart this so that I can import the fresh logs. Okay, fresh uh, imports.
otherwise it will create an issue right so let's again import it and i should render this url here so you can see that beautifully how pytorch will be rendered here so i can see the entire pytorch website inside my jupyter notebook and it will be useful sometimes let's say if you want to refer a documentation at a specific page so why not to why to instead of giving it like just a link why not to give it a like just render it here so this looks beautiful right so uh, similarly we can test it for multiple urls okay so we can go for something like let's say if i remove this it should raise an exception mm, it should say invalid url yeah invalid url is not valid so it's just absolutely fine so that means um, similarly we can pick some more tests and we will just check this okay so i think we have got the general idea that okay how we can do the manual test part of it okay so that means manual testing is done okay so we can just keep some certain scenarios like that and we will uh, work around for the test cases okay so let's go back again to our check here so we have done some manual test just for an example purpose and we will add more some more scenarios in when i will be doing to test okay so as of now so i will not park it as a complete but i will say that uh, the coding part is done okay so i will just comment this i will not close it okay because we will only close it once it is tested for the first time okay so let's again go back again to the code part and let's do the commits first of all so uh, first of all we have uh, done the like created new functionality new render site functionality so we can commit this or we can commit this as it is okay so we can commit this completely together and then we can say that manual test for new functionality done some manual test is already done so we can commit that okay and uh, and that's it that's it for this session right so uh, we are still in progress so let's let's move all these other sessions like that we want to do so i want to test this rendering functionality and then i so after that i will simply add this uh, render site functionality after into our pi byp package right and then we will look for the documentation part so this will be the next one to do right uh, for the in progress part right so let's see you all in the next video right so then keep on learning keep on exploring